Um, absolutely horrific to see this sort of thing happen. Um, you know, we have seen crime going up all across the country, especially in, in major cities, Democrat-run cities. You think, Leo, about, you know, what, what leads us to situations like this? What do you think is a deterrent for crime? And you often think, well, you need to hold people accountable when they actually commit crimes. But take a listen to this soundbite. This is Joe Biden defending progressive bail reform as we see crime surging across the country. With regard to the leniency of prosecutors, that has, on balance, not been the biggest problem. I think bail reform and the negative side of bail reform is vastly overrated. It should relate to the severity of the crime and what you, what, what the problem is related that you're accused of. Leo, I you mean, know, Laura, you know, no responsibility for any of that. No, he's clueless. Let's just be honest. He, he, he's, he's reading a script given to him by the progressive left. Let's be very clear. Since the summer of 2020, the Democrats have turned their backs on law and order. I mean, that's a fact. They, they basically sanctioned, in my opinion, the rise of 2020. And what we have in this country right now is disgraceful. Soft prosecutors who will not keep career criminals in jail. I live in, a, in one of these cities, Los Angeles. You look at Chicago, you look at New York, and these Democrats refuse, refuse to call out these soft prosecutors. And that is the problem. Criminals know for a fact they're not going to jail if they commit a crime. So you have this escalation, and it's been going on since 2020, and it has to stop. And the only way it's going to stop, we got to get these soft prosecutors out. We got to get these Democratic run cities. We got to change the composition of the leadership in these Democratic-run cities, or it's going to get worse. And that is bad news for America. Law and order has been missing in Democratic cities. Yeah, and Sean, you know, you, you look at a situation, gosh, so horrible. People out on a Saturday at a grocery store in Buffalo, New York, you think that's a safe place to take, you know, maybe your kid with you, uh, to go shopping with your family. We saw last night at a Milwaukee Bucks game uh, several shootings outside of the stadium, people running for their lives, screaming. Um, you know, we continue to see these smash and grab crimes in broad daylight. In New York City, that's Milwaukee from last night, absolutely horrifying. You think you could take your kid to a basketball game. Um, you know, are people at some point just going to say it's not worth it to go out anymore, it's not safe? I mean, this is probably part of the reason so many people are moving away from the cities. Well, the, the DA in Milwaukee County, his name is John Chisholm, he, is, he was a liberal prosecutor before liberal prosecutors were on the news. He was before George Gascon um, and Chasen Boudin in San Francisco. So he's been, he's been light on crime for a long time, and these are the results that you get from light on crime prosecutors. And I agree with, with Leo in the sense that we need stronger prosecutors. We need people, though, to vote in new prosecutors who are going to be tough on crime because these are elected jobs, uh, number one. But here's what I think is going to happen. You're going to see tomorrow... Democrats are going to come out and say, we need new gun laws. And what they want to do is take away guns from law-abiding citizens, the million of Americans who respectfully own their firearms in places uh, like in Wisconsin, where uh, most of my constituents use guns. And they're, and they're going to push that uh, solution to a problem that they created. And, I, and listen, yes, yes, law enforcement is a problem, but you can't police good behavior. I mean, there's a lack of morality and faith, fatherlessness. Um, a whole bunch of issues that have taken place in our culture that have led us away from a civil society that will get someone to pick up a gun, a lack of respect for life, to pick up a gun and shoot a family that's going out to get some hamburgers, if they can afford hamburgers with this inflation, for a barbecue. Um, there's an insanity and, and depravity that's taking place in society. We have to address that. Cops can't do it, but we in culture have to do it and say, hey, let's come back to some values that make countries great and, and societies great and families great. And if you don't do that, we're not going to fix this. Yeah, it's very upsetting. And Alicia, do you remember um, when, you know, Jen Psaki denied, um, listen to this soundbite, we all remember this, that they were sending out crack pipes in the smoking kits. Speaking of society degrading, we are apparently helping people with this. Listen. 
No federal funding has gone to it. This policy does not allow for crack pipes to be included. I would just note that this is a bit of a conspiracy theory that's been spread out there. It's not accurate. There's important drug treatment uh, programs for people who have been suffering from what we've seen as an epidemic across the country, and money is not used for crack pipes. So, Alicia, it turns out that was actually true, that, you know, the money was used for crack pipes, that crack pipes were in these safe smoking kits. Why are we not trying to fix these problems, whether it's crime, drug use? You know, you would think that we would want to do something better than send out crack pipes, but indeed, that is what was happening. Right. And, and the Washington Free Beacon, to give them credit, they did unearth all of this. And this wasn't a one-off that these pipes were found in, in one of these kits. It was found in multiple kits in multiple cities. So just to, to let folks know that it actually is true and what Jen Psaki was saying actually was not exactly true. So in terms of taking care of it, I, I found it very interesting that the president said that he found it, the negative, um, the, the criticism over bail reform and the lessening of prosecutorial um, action, that it was overrated. But what it is very highly rated with the progressive side of the Democratic Party. And we have parents out there who are worried about just about everything from baby formula to crime. Um, and this isn't, I can't see how it's going to be helpful in the midterms. It, uh, All you right. know, well, we'll can I just say eye. one other thing? Um, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. It's just, it's just that go the ahead, police Leo. chief in L.A. said, the police chief said, I remember in Los Angeles, the just capital crime of the world. The police chief said, hey, we arrested 24 shoplifters and they were released the next day. You cannot tell me that soft on, soft on crime prosecutors are releasing these individuals and this bail reform that allows these criminals to go back on the streets is happening and the criminals are emboldened. And it's ridiculous. It's just outright lying by the Democrats. Can, yep. can I make Basic one of the points? No go and then they're going to continue. All right. Can I make this quickly? Uh, I mean, no, I know you got to go. You got to go. That's fine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.